Hello and welcome to Chair Yoga with Metro Physical Therapy. My name is Kat. Let's get started. So we're going to start today in a chair, whatever chair you have, kitchen chair, folding chair, even on your couch cushion, honestly, if that is something that you have and just something to get you moving. We're going to start in a comfortable position, feet flat on the floor, roll the shoulders back, relax them down. See if you can unclench some of the muscles in your face and just find a comfortable position for your hands. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose. And exhale, let it all out through the mouth. Side the air out. Again, inhale through the nose. You can close the eyes here. Exhale out the mouth. Again, inhale. And exhale. A few more times like this, deep breath in, strong breath out, inhale, and exhale, allowing that breath now to return back to a natural pace, keeping your concentration on the breath, allowing that to move us through our postures. We're going to start just warming up the neck here, taking your ear and reaching it down over to one shoulder. Keeping the shoulder blades pulled back, nice tall spine. And bringing the head back through center and tipping it over to the other side. Again, keeping that breath at a natural pace, but concentrating on the inhales and the exhales, slowly bringing that head back up. And now tipping the chin down towards the chest, feeling a stretch through the back of the neck. Inhale, slowly lift the chin up. And if it feels good for you here, take a counter stretch, tipping the head back. If it doesn't fit your capabilities at this time, just admit it. And slowly bringing the head back through center. Starting to move with some bigger movements here. Inhale, reaching the arms up over the head. And as we exhale, grabbing the side of the chair, leaning over to one side, stretching all the way through that rib cage here. Again, nostril breathing in and out. Exhale, bring the hand back down and inhaling over to the other side. Always staying balanced, performing each posture on each side. Noticing that one side might feel a little bit different than the other, that's okay. And coming back through center, rolling the shoulders up and back and down. Go up, back, down again, up, back, and down, taking the arms now, reaching them up on the inhale. And exhale, finding a twist. So one hand is going to come to the back of your chair. The other hand is going to find the outside of the opposite knee and gaze over the shoulder. Trying to keep the knees and the hips square. Notice if you start to do something like this. See if you can pull yourself back to center. Let that twist come from the midline. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Twisting into the exhale. And exhale, twist. Inhale and untwist. Reach the arms up. And exhale, twisting to the other side. Again, noticing those knees and those hips staying nice and square. See if you can rotate the gaze to go over the shoulder. Inhale, untwist, reach the arms up. As we exhale here, reach both arms back behind you. You can grab onto the chair or place them on the chair behind you. Squeezing the shoulder blades together, puff the chest, look up. If it serves you and it feels good in your body, you can tip the head back to open the throat. Deep breath in, fill the front side of the body and exhale, let it go. Again, inhale, breathe, and exhale, slowly roll the body back up through center. Taking those shoulders, now we're going to go back, up, and forward, reversing that same 
movement that we did before. So the shoulders go back, puff the chest open, pull the shoulders up to your ears and roll them forward and down. Back, up, forward and down. Again, back, up, forward and down. Hands coming to rest on the thighs here. We're gonna do some neck rolls. So again, if this doesn't fit your capabilities, if this doesn't feel good for you, stick with these neck tilts. Creates a little bit more sense of stability in the body. We're gonna start here with some neck rolls. So ear goes to shoulder, drop chin to chest. Other side, ear to shoulder, chin up. And just start to find this sense of roll nice and slow. Moving the spine, that cervical spine, all the way up by the neck through all of its movements. And then we're going to take that and reverse it, going the opposite direction. Again, always staying balanced, staying aware with the breath. And slowly find your way back to center here. Take a deep breath in, and this time as you exhale, open the mouth, sigh the air out, creating that H-A sound. Again, and breath out. Starting to move through some more foundational movement patterns here. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, hinge and fold forward, letting the spine curl. Inhale, reaching all the way back up. And exhale, bring the hands to the heart. A few more times like this. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, reaching up. And exhale, hands to the heart. If going all the way to the floor does not feel good for you, keep the hands on the thighs here and just bow a little bit forward, creating that forward movement with the spine. Going all the way to the floor is not a necessity here. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, fold whichever way serves you. Inhale again, reaching up. Maybe you find a little bit of an extension through the spine here. Reach the fingertips back. And exhale, hands to heart. A few more here. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, reaching up. Again, maybe you find an extension back. Maybe you don't. And exhale, hands to heart center. Slowly releasing the hands again back down to the thighs. We're going to start here today with a hamstring stretch. But first, we're going to prep for that hamstring stretch. The hamstrings are those muscles all the way through the back of the legs. Interlacing all 10 fingers here, creating a little bit of a webbing. We're going to reach down and grab the front of one of our knees. We'll do both sides, so whichever knee you want to start with. Hips stay square, so notice if you start to roll one hip open or pull it in, that internal rotation, we're trying to keep the hip really square towards the front of the room. Interlacing again, all 10 fingers, grabbing the front of the knee, we're gonna pull the knee up and into the chest. So pull the shoulders together in the back, open up the heart, grabbing onto the front of the knee and pull. So you wanna feel compression here in the hip, in the front of the hip, flex the foot, other foot flat on the ground and breathe. Breathing into that compressed hip. And exhale, let it go. Breathing in and breathing out. Again, breathe in and breathe out. Slowly start to release that leg back down to the earth. And then extend it out in front of you. Heel finds the floor, toes reach up to the ceiling. Inhale, reaching both arms up. Exhale, reaching down towards that extended leg. I like to put my opposite hand up on my knee for stability here and bringing awareness that this leg is still engaged. It's not floppy and hanging out here. It's still part of the pose. Chest is leaning forward, so we're engaged through the trunk. Can grab peace sign fingers, wrap around the big toe here if that serves you. If not, your hand can rest on the calf, the ankle, the foot. And breathing into the space in the back of the leg here. Inhale here, slowly start to rise up. 
switching our feet. So now we're gonna prep for this side, interlacing all 10 fingers, wrapping around the front of the knee and lifting the knee up into the chest. Again, notice my foot is flexed. My shoulders are rolled back. They're not lifted up towards the ears. Roll them back. Allow them to stay down in their space. Deep breathing. Into the front of the compressed stick here. Exhale, slowly release that leg down, extending it out in front of you here. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, find that full forward. One side is always kind of going to feel a little bit more flexible than the other side. Avoid placing judgments or saying one side's worse. They're just different. Folding into this space, you're keeping the back straight. Chest is open. Might feel this stretch even a little bit through the lower back. Again, if anything is painful, pull back. You do want to feel a little bit of sensation, but not pain. Find that edge of comfort between the two. And inhale, slowly start to lift up, bring that leg back right under the knee. So our hips, our knees, and our ankles are all at 90 degrees. And we're going to take this and we're going to move through a full forward fold here. So both legs are going to extend out in front of us. I like to try and zip my legs up here like I have a mermaid tail. That doesn't fit your capability levels. You can open them up a bit here. So feet come together. Feet come to a place that feels good for you. Inhale, reaching up. And then exhale, reaching forward. You might have to scooch your tush back in your chair a little bit more for support if this feels kind of scary. Reaching forward. Again, that chest is open. Notice how I'm not doing this. My back is flat. My fingertips are reaching as far as they can. And maybe for this, I'm only at my calves or my ankles or even my knees. Still feeling that stretch through the back side of the body. Breathe. As we inhale, slowly roll the body up one vertebrae at a time, bringing the feet back under the knees, adjusting your hips again. So we're at that 90 degree angle in all of our lower half joints. We're going to take our knees open a little bit wider than our mat. I have a mat under my chair just for some spacing so you can kind of see that too. We want to be at about 45 degrees from the hip. So we're going to take one hand and place it on the inside of our knee. The other arm is going to reach up and open on the inhale, finding a spinal twist here. You can stay here. You can drop a little bit deeper into that side bend to feel a deeper twist. Using the back of our bottom arm to push the knee open, find space to open up. And then concentration on our breath. And inhale, coming back to center. And we're going to take it to the opposite side, dropping one hand down, reaching the other arm open. If it serves you and you want to try and find that deeper Swiss, that deeper side bend, gazing up towards the top fingertips. Breath is strong. Inhaling, coming back through center. Hands are going to come down onto the knees here. We're going to roll the spine down. Keeping the hands on the knees. We're just finding that forward fold with the spine. And then inhaling, coming up. Pull the shoulder blades back, arching the spine. So inhale, we're going to curl the spine. Look down. Exhale, open the heart, pull the shoulder blades open. This is our modified cat-cow movement. Inhale, curl the spine. Exhale, open up. Again, inhale, curl. Exhale, open. 
Last one. Inhale, curl. Exhale, open up. Slowly walking the feet back together. We're going to scooch our tush back here a little bit further in the chair. So we're still not touching the back of our chair, but our tush is all the way back in the chair. Then we're going to take our shoulder blades and just rest them on the back of our chair. So it's like a lean back. That lower back, mid back is still not touching the back of the chair. Coming up onto our tippy toes here, you can let the hands drop out to either side. We're just going to let those knees tip over to one side. So we're creating, in essence, a supine twist where we'll be lying down on our back. For the purposes of this class, we're in a chair. So we're creating that sensation, subtle twisting through the belly. If you want to try and create a deeper sensation here, you can cross the legs. So the side opposite of where we're twisting to would cross over. And then place the hand on top of the knee to give a little bit of pressure. And you can gaze over to the opposite side, really inviting a deeper twist here. And slowly beginning to untwist, lifting the spine up off of the chair. We're going to take that to the other side. So again, dropping the shoulder blades back, readjusting your sense of center, tipping the knees over to the other side. Arms can lay down beside you. Again, whatever version of the shape on this side serves you. So if you want to cross that leg over, use the hand and gaze to the opposite side. Or you can just stay right here. When we twist, we start to wring out those internal organs. We stimulate the adrenal gland, aid in digestion. And inhale, slowly coming back to the center, lifting the chest, shaking that twist out from the spine. We're going to invite a back bend here now. So I'm going to give a couple of options for back bending and whatever serves you and your capability levels at this point is the option that you take. Option number one is to grab the chair behind you, pull the shoulder blades back, puff the chest, and try and find that arch in the spine. So we want to find this in the spine here. Option number two is to put your hands on the chair, feet flat on the floor, and lift the hips up. So it takes a lot of stability from the trunk, the core. If you want some more core work, you can find some videos on our page here and really work that core in the chair and on the floor. So what we're going to do now is find an option. There is a third option here if it serves you feet straight out in front of you, hands still on the chair, and lift the hips. Whatever option serves you, I'm going to hang out somewhere in the middle here, squeezing the shoulder blades back, feet flat on the floor, and lift the hips. Again, if it serves you, you can tip the head back. Squeezing the glutes, squeezing the legs together. They don't touch. It's an energetic thought. Breath is moving in and out of the body. Exhale, let the hips come back. Rolling up. And we're going to take a counter stretch here. So we're going to lean the chest forward and rolling down the spine. You can grab opposite hand to opposite elbow and just let the head hang. Maybe sway from side to side. Letting the hands drop back down and slowly rolling up. Coming into our final resting pose, scooching the tush all the way back on the chair. Back is flat against the surface of the back of the chair. Hands come down to find the thighs. Hands up, hands down, whatever serves you. And just start to close the eyes here. Bringing your concentration back to that deep breathing.
letting go of all sensations, any tension that you have within the body. Maybe your legs start to fall out to either side, eyelids heavy. We just start to find rest here. We rest at the end of our yoga practice to allow all of that good stuff that we've just done for the past few moments to really seep into our bones, reap all the benefits. start to bring some movement back into your body, wiggling the fingers and the toes, rolling the wrists and the ankles, taking a deep breath in, reach the arms up, full body stretch here like it's the first one you take in the morning, and then exhale, slowly start to lift the chest coming up to a seat, hands come to heart center. We seal our practice here, bowing the chin to the chest, so grateful, grateful for our breath, grateful for our bodies, and grateful for the opportunity to connect to both. Hinging forward slightly to seal the practice, the light in me honors the light within you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you again next time.